day folks it's Norfolk boy here from infinite knot and today I'm doing a little bit of a different uh, video than what I have done recently which is a review on a monitor so um, it's a, a BenQ I think is the way you pronounce it um, and this is basically to help people out who are looking for a monitor that's not going to cost them an arm and a leg but have something decent to use this particular review is on the PD2705U 27 inch 4K monitor. And this monitor um, I decided to purchase after having one before. Um, there was a little bit on the cheap side and I had a Mac Mini to start with that I was creating my music with but then I moved over and splashed out the money for a Mac Studio which cost me an arm and a leg and half my mortgage. And when I looked at the screens, I almost fell off the back of my seat because to be fair, just getting a keyboard and a mouse for it, well, trackpad anyway, was enough money. Um, so the Mac Studio um, screens will cost you about £1,599 as you have to buy the stand separately to go with it. And I just weren't prepared to pay that kind of money for what I'm doing uh, with my particular monitor as I'm using it to create music with. The old monitor that I have that I'm replacing with this one just wasn't very good with the Mac. Um, you really do need a half decent monitor. So hence why I bought this one. So without further ado, Let's get this monitor unboxed. So as I said, Apple's Studio Display comes in at £1,499. So you're paying about 499 quid, I think, for the stand itself, let alone the screen. This monitor came in, for me anyway, £319. Um, I think it would have been a little bit more, but it was on uh, the black... Friday deal I think or something like that but it's normally about 350 I do people 49.99 you know it is um, this is the unboxing so this is what you're going to get in it uh, so to be fair when I looked at other reviews on this monitor you seem to get everything you need with this monitor which is absolutely fantastic including a little ticket in here of the calibration of the thing so <laughs> you know if you wanted it um then there it is absolutely fantastic okay so obviously you get the plug with it but um when you unpack here you'll see that you've got let me just get in here the stand which is actually metal or some kind of very strong material anyway, but it's not plastic, put it that way. Um, this stand on this monitor is absolutely fantastic. It's got movement any way you want, really. It swivels on its side. It, it uh, turns to one side. You can turn it right round. You can up it and down it. So, you know, at the end of the day, the stand on this is absolutely fantastic. These are all the cables that you'll need to connect to various things to your monitor. So that's great. Every single, you know, cable that you actually need, you don't have to go out and buy it, actually comes with a monitor. So how cool is that? And then this little box here is what they call the puck, basically, which is a um, little gadget that you'll be able to use to swap from one monitor to another if you've got to, or you've got another monitor plugged in somewhere, or, or another device even, or anything like that, basically. So if you've got an iPad plugged in as well, you'll be able to use that to flip over from your, your Mac to your iPad. And so I'm doing this review because I found it incredibly overwhelming how many monitors there are out there. And so I thought I'd do a review on this one because uh, th there is plenty out there, but they're not, they didn't really tell me some of the things I really wanted to know. Um, now, to put this thing together, it's really easy. Easy peasy, limb squeezy, just clips all together. It's even got a little screw on the bottom that you can screw up tight and then lock in. Um, so that's absolutely brilliant. There's nothing worse than having lots of screws to mess around with. So this is great. Once you've done that, I do leave the monitor just clip straight into the top part of it as well. I purchased this actual monitor on the grounds that it seems to be geared up for Mac stuff, and that's what I have. So um, this is 
just superb for uh, uh, connecting a Mac Mini, a Mac Studio, a iPad even, uh, or of course a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and so on and so forth. Um, it's even got a setting that you can actually use for your MacBook um, to send the same colors from your MacBook screen onto the, the screen itself so that they both look the same, possibly um, for people who are doing photographic stuff. Okay, so this is where it's gonna go. I do music creation, so um, this is exactly the spot I need to set it up, and I'm gonna do my very best to show you how to set it up without making too much of a hash of it. Okay. So like I say, the, the monitor itself attaches to the stand very easily. Just gonna have to move that mic out of the way. As you can see, you can push it up and down. And yep, that'll do for the time being. And now I'm gonna go through connecting it up. Okay, so we're around the back of the monitor now and I've chose to use USB-C to USB-C. You can connect it that way or you can connect it from HDMI um, cable, but I'm choosing this way because there's software that can be connected to it and you can use a USB B port or two, I think there's three actually all together um, in this actual monitor as well for um, connecting to your Mac. So that's brilliant. So we're going to pop it right in the back of this Mac Studio about here because uh, that's the only spare one I've got left. So we'll just get that put in. Also in the packaging, you'll get a back plate that you can um, put in the back once you've finished connecting all your various bits and pieces up to the monitor. Here is the all important plug, of course, because without this, you wouldn't have any power for it. <laughs> this is where I'd recommend you could uh, lay it flat, which I couldn't because I didn't have the rim to do because it would make it a lot easier to connect these flaming cables. Uh, so I had a little bit of trouble there, but uh, once I got them in and fiddled about, I put the back panel on. Only then to realize I'd have to turn it all the way back round again because I forgot to put the puck in. So <laughs> don't forget to do that because then you have to pull all the back end off to plug that in and any other stuff that you need to plug in to be fair. Otherwise you'll do exactly what I do here and have to undo it all over again. Still, moving on, once you've finally got everything you want plugged in, it's simple as switching it on and waiting for the magic to happen. And there we go. And here is a screenshot of it in its glory. So as you can see, it's so much better now. I am so impressed. Um, this is a screenshot, so you probably ain't seeing the full potential of it, but uh, I can already notice that um, everything's so much crisper and brighter. And I haven't set anything up yet. So um, yeah, all good so far. This is the old monitor that I had before. Um, I think I paid £120 for it when I bought it. Um, but as you can see, as I'm zooming in on this, that um, things are a lot more crisp when it comes to the text. And even these tiny little stars are not too bad. So, you know, it's it's pretty cool so far. So I'm messing about with the uh, resolution now, which is uh, just completely and utterly crazy. So if I go into display settings here, you can see that this is a choice you've got. Um, if I go to default, then that's the default size that it will come up with originally. And this is full resolution. And to be honest, it's so small, <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to look at it. So I'm probably have to go around about here somewhere. Um, so this is pretty insane and impressive. So I'll just show a little bit of 4K footage here. 
obviously this is a screen recording so it may look good to you but it looks even better where I'm sitting um, so my opinion on this monitor is just for £319 it's a no-brainer it's an absolutely fantastic piece of kit I'm using my own bit of footage here because I did do this video once already and YouTube in their wisdom pulled it down just because I copied a little bit of 4k off of a YouTube channel. Naughty boy Kev, slap on the wrist. But I do hope this footage gives you a rough idea of what the monitor's capabilities really are. Um, the monitor that I had before this one just didn't cut the mustard. It was only £120, so it was okay for the money. But the text and, and icons were a little bit too blurry for me. So hence I bought this monitor and in my opinion, this is a really nice monitor. So obviously on their website, you can get all the specification for it if you give it a look. Um, you're probably seeing this screen um, not the way that I'm seeing it, because unfortunately I am using a screen capture recording here. So you're not going to see the fantastic quality that I'm seeing, just to let you know. Um, so yeah, here it gives you all the information the screen size, the resolution, and so on and so forth. The dimensions and the weight, it's quite a hefty thing if that matters to you in any way. Um, the accessories, you do get one of these little pucks, as I say, that you can use, which is brilliant. But once you've got the software, you can also use that. The connectivity, you've got uh, HDMI, you've got a display port, which I didn't use, but I used the HDMI, and then the USB-C. And which also has a power delivery so that if you plug it into a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air um, it will actually charge it as well as connecting to the monitor and you've got flicker free technology low blue light and your certificate and so on and so forth and of course what they don't mention is that you get all the cables that come with the monitor too which is really handy so you don't have to go out and buy loads of cables that you didn't have to set up your monitor and this is all the software that you get with it to make it look the way you want it to look i shan't be going into all of what the software does because it's just a, another whole new ball game it's amazing what you can do with the software um obviously for people who are doing graphic design that kind of thing um yeah so that just about wraps it up. I hope it helps people out there that are looking for a monitor that doesn't cost too much money, around about three to four hundred pound mark, and you're getting some sort of quality for your money. And this certainly is top quality stuff. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you for watching. Please do, if you like the video, subscribe and perhaps like. That would really help me with my channel as I don't get an awful lot of time to do these videos. So it will help to build up my channel and make it worthwhile next time. Thank you and take care and goodbye.